It's time for the Trading Stocks Made Easy podcast. Each week, Trading Stocks Made Easy demystifies stock trading and investing so you can profit big. And now, here's the host of Trading Stocks Made Easy, the wealthy investor, Tyrone Jackson. And we are back. Hey, it's Tyrone Jackson, the wealthy investor, and welcome to another episode of Trading Stocks Made Easy. I value and treasure our time together. Hey, we've started a new series here on the show called A Trader's Journey. And we're just talking to people who've been in the Wealthy Investor Program, who've made six figures, who continue to make money even though markets go up and down, and they are going to share their journey and their real-life experience of trading in the stock market. Now, with that said, guess who is on the show today? Well, I'll tell you. If you have been following the Trading Stocks Made Easy podcast and you watch Wealthy Investor TV on the YouTube, you've for sure seen Andre Blake on at least <laughs> one episode, and he's here today. Andre Blake, how, yes, how are Mr. you? Yes, Mr. Tyrone Jackson, I am well. I am well. Thank you so much for having me back. Yes. It's always a pleasure to come on here and talk stocks with you. Now, you are a busy father of two. Yes. And so I that means that, you know, I don't just have access to you when I want. Cuz you got to make sure that like the kids are off from school, the dog is put away, like there's a whole thing that has to yeah. go on in your life. A whole thing. Yes, this is true. But, you know, usually when Tyrone calls, I'm like, "All right, y'all, leave me alone. Daddy's going in the booth." <laughs> right, exactly. Speaking, respect the, respect the red light. Yes. yes. And speaking of the booth, yes. Uh, our audience yes. knows that you've been in this program, actually, even when I started it in New York, before it became this yes. online thing and all of that, right? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And, and our I, audience- I was, I was with you when it was when there were five of us in a little room. That's yeah. correct. And I'm like, I'm going to make everybody rich, right? So <laughs> you, you know how much I, I appreciate you being there from day one. Now, you have been uh, on this show, I don't even know how many times you've been on the Trading Stocks Made Easy podcast. We can't even remember how long- uh, you've actually been trading, but suffice it to say, uh, you've seen the journey from start to finish, right? For sure. Yes. For sure. For sure. Yeah. And you've experienced, uh, I'm just going to catch everybody up with who you are really quickly. So uh, sure. you are a working uh, actor in New York, mm-hmm. uh, both what yes. we call on camera and in the world of voiceovers, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Are you still the voice of BET? Where are you with that? I am not the voice of BET currently. Uh-huh. Um, things on the, you know, with with COVID and what have you, things on the voiceover side slowed down a bit. Um, I am very fortunate to, uh, to I guess I could say this now. Um, I'm going to be a new character on an NBC show entitled New Amsterdam. Yes, and uh, so that's a that's a big feather in my cap, if you will. So I'm looking forward to uh, what fruit that tree bears. Yes, and I believe on the NBC show New Amsterdam, you are the new chief of surgery, is that what it is? Yes, chief of general surgery, Dr. Claude Baptiste. Yes, and your first episodes are coming up uh, within the next 30 days, is that right? Uh, Yeah, for okay. sure. And just to let people in on our relationship, <laughs> and don't uh-huh. get mad at me for <laughs> disclosing that, but this is how no. this is how into trading Andre is. Andre goes, I'm not sure how many episodes I'm going to do the next season, but man, the money that's going to go in my brokerage account. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so here you are on a that's network TV show, to. and and the thing that you keep mm-hmm. thinking is like it's it's not like the fame and all. It's like the amount of money that's going to go in that TD Ameritrade account. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. I can't wait. I that can't wait. that's dedication. Okay, so let's go back. Right, we're going to go back at least uh-huh. a decade. Tell everyone a little okay. bit about your background, and you uh-huh. know, obviously, you know that you know. I said, Andre, I'm going to teach people how to trade, and you were like, I'm totally there. Tell us what uh-huh. attracted you to stock market trading, and a little bit about your history. Well, I was born a rich white child. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> I I grew up in a in a in a middle class home. Uh, my father worked for the airlines. My mother was in the in the film and television business. And um, what attracted me to the stock market was I had come home from uh, living in Los Angeles, um, moved out to L.A. with 90 grand in my pocket, came back, broke with two kids, and knew I had to do something. <laughs> so, and, uh, and around that time, you were like, okay, I'm going to start this program. I'm going to make people rich. I was like... Sounds good. I got nothing, so I'm there. Right. <laughs> you know, a- anything that will help me climb this mountain to be able to provide for these children 
and and live a life that that I've only dreamed of and imagined. I'm I'm down. Um, what was really interesting, what was what was quickly challenged, was my my beliefs mm-hmm. and my thoughts mm-hmm. around money. That's what the program really. That that's where the program pushed me the most. I think. Um, I've always had an affinity for for math, and um, I've always been able to understand stock market uh, theory. Uh, it's it's always come to me pretty easily. I'm I'm one of those people whereby if you tell me the rules, and okay, these are the rules. They're hard and fast. Great, got it. Let's go. And um, and that's all fine and dandy, but. When we started, when you started this whole wealthy investor uh, undertaking those so many years ago, the market and the instruments that were available to us weren't there at the time. There weren't weekly covered calls at the time. You know, we were selling 30 day calls. calls. That's correct. Yeah. And and that was it. Mm-hmm. You know, so to to experience the the change from. 30-day calls to weekly calls to, you know, the SPY and these two and three day calls. It's, 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 it's incredible. It's really incredible how the, the system and the powers that be recognized the opportunity for themselves to generate money. And, and, you know, every time we click, they get paid, you know, so of course they're going to create more instruments for us to click our mouses, if you will. Mm -hmm. And, um, and and it just increases one's opportunities to to generate like real wealth for yourself. It's 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 amazing. I'm still I'm still amazed by it, you know, and still even ten years later still discovering new things and having new realizations and aha moments that make me go, Wait, yeah. what? Yes. Are you kidding me? I can wait, I can do that. And 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 you realize after you the truth of it is, after you get your account to six figures, there really are no more barriers to the kind of life that that you can live. It's really about what you believe is possible. Yeah. And, you know, this is funny because uh, what I have found is, you know, we focus when the market is bullish, we focus on a two to five percent monthly return in our account. And uh, I can't tell you how many talk shows I've been booted off of because people go, that's impossible, right? But that 2 to 5%, as long as you're staying within wealthy investor discipline, it is there. And a lot of people achieve it. I've also noticed, basically, you don't need millions of dollars to have financial freedom. No, you don't. Basically, $250,000 uh, at 2 to 5% a month, you're doing pretty well. I wanted to ask you, though, because you've seen a lot of changes and you've seen the market evolve. Um, I wanted to ask you today about a trader's personality. Um, you know when we have our live classes in New York, right? Mm-hmm. And 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 uh, you know the program has grown such that we're always at the Hilton, and we're always at these tables, and people are very conscious when they enter the room about who they're sitting with because you know I'm going to turn everybody into a group, and we're going to be doing mm-hmm. drills, and you always sit next to someone whose reasoning you like. Like, you know, if Tyrone decides this group is going to break off and that group is going to... I want to make sure I'm in a group with someone whose personality I like because you have, like, traitor's chemistry, right? Do you think For there's sure. a Do you think there's a, a certain personality type, Andre, of someone who's more prone to be able to make $10,000 a month trading? Yes. Um, and the big word that I would use to describe that person mm-hmm. is patient. Okay. There's a level of patience that you have to have in order to to listen and absorb and and give a trade <clears throat> time to unfold, mm-hmm. whether it's two weeks, whether it's three weeks, whether it's 30 days, whether it's 40 days. Some people when you when you what I've seen is that people come to the program early. And they're like, I'm going to be rich next week. No. Calm down, like just calm down, <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. And and who knows? Maybe they are. Maybe, maybe you know they had the misfortune of someone passing away, and that person leaves them a million bucks. You know, if if you're starting with a million dollar account, 
at two to five percent a month, I think you're going to be okay. Yes. You know, but if you have to, if you're coming to the program and 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 you're starting from humble beginnings, much like myself, I built my 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 account from zero. I didn't know anything. Um, you have to be patient and you have to be humble and you have to understand that you don't know everything. So there, there, there's a level of, of patience and gratitude and, 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 and a grounded graciousness that you have to have in order to achieve these lofty dreams. And, and they're really actually not that lofty after a little while once you, once you come to understand how the system works. Yes, and your first trade for you was obviously covered call writing and then you moved into volatility trading, correct? Yes. Uh-huh. I always yes, say volatility trading and and spreads. Yes. And spread. Well, we got the spreads down the line. We're going to get the spreads definitely because um well, yeah. let's just say you've had some awakenings there <laughs> recently. <laughs> um just a few. <laughs> just a few. Yes. Uh when it comes to uh covered call writing, um do you remember what hooked you about it? Because I always say covered call writing is the single best trade created for the retail investor ever. What has hooked you mm-hmm. on covered calls? The predictability. It's predictable. It's like, oh, okay, buy this, sell that, it's there, T plus one. Oh, great, it's in my account the next day. And just the, the repeatability and the predictability of it is what, is what hooked me. Mm-hmm. To know that every Monday, if the funds are available, I can click my mouse and make it rain, no matter what. Correct. Up market, down market, sunny outside, rainy outside, snowy outside. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I was on vacation in the south of France. I took myself to the south of France. And it was funny because I'm in the south of France and my agent called. And I had to do a voiceover job from the south of France which I thought was pretty cool. But what was even cooler was after I got off the phone doing the job, I checked my watch and saw the time difference and was like, ooh, I got to place a trade. So I was able to trade and work from the south of France. All I needed was my microphone and a laptop. And I actually, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly, when I was on the trip that day, I made the money that covered the trip. Right. I made it back. Right. Where else can you do that? Like, are you kidding me? Yes, legally. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, legally, exactly. So that that that's pretty amazing, and that's what keeps me coming back. And I think that's really one of the things we were talking about, a trader's personality. You are very good at rewarding yourself on an interval basis, right? So you have some success, mm-hmm. you pull some money out, you celebrate that. And uh, and don't hate me for the, I feel like Eddie Murphy and Arsenio on this episode, because <laughs> we know each other so well, I have to pretend that, you know. Um, right, so, right, so, right. so this thing you just did with the Porsche for four or five days when yes. you rented this Porsche. Yes, um, yes. That reinforces certain trading behavior. Why do you uh, reinforce your trading behavior with rewards like the South of France and the Porsche rental and a bunch of other things. Why do you do that? Well, like you said, it, it reinforces the idea that I have, I have money that is working for me. I am not working for it. And so my reward, I happen to like, I like cars. I was in the South of France and I did that job. And so I rewarded myself by renting a Ferrari in the South of France. You know what I mean? It's like, that that happens to be my thing. I, I like I like Ferraris and Porsches and, and and fancy watches and custom suits. That's my thing. Right. Yeah. Uh, because it's it's not illegal. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, like you were saying, I think it goes back to one's one's perspective and one's process of 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 the mind. What's what do, what do you want to do? It's 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 great to to have money and be able to to make money and. You know, granted, I do those things for myself, but there are also a lot of things that I do for family and friends without them asking. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember once, dear dear friend of mine was in a tough way, and I'd gone and visited him by his job, and you know, and something in the back of my head said, "Give him some money." You know, and it, it was it was bizarre, and and you know, giving someone money can be a tricky thing. I remember. 
I just did it. I mean, I think I had like, you know, a couple hundred bucks in my pocket and I just stuck my hand in my pocket and was like, hey man, you dropped this. He was like, I didn't drop that. I said, well, yeah, you did. So here. And I mean, this is someone who I've known for a really long time and was going through, was going through a tough time. And it made me feel good. But what really made me feel good was that he was able to receive it. Right. You know, because you can try to do things for people and sometimes they're not in a place where they can receive it. But when people can, if I have good fortune and I want my, my, my close circle of friends around me to experience that just as I have. So if, if it's, here's a couple hundred bucks, you know, hope it helps. And, you know, apparently it helped more than I thought it would. Yes. So, you know, that's, that's always a nice thing to do. And that's one of the principles of the Wealthy Investor Program is that we not just make a lot of money for ourselves, but we help other people, right? So, because my philosophy is the world doesn't need another rich person with a nasty attitude, right? So if I teach you Correct. how to make $5,000 a week, $10,000 a month, whatever that number is, at some point, you know, I ask that you go out and help someone else. And that is a great feeling. Staying on the topic of this idea of a trader's personality, um, there are people who you've met in the program. We won't mention any names, mm -hmm. live programs. Okay. And they just don't have the ability to trade. Um, either they're not a likable person or they just become enthralled with greed. What kind of personality in your view, will not make it as a retail trader trading at home? Mm. The skeptic uh, definitely won't be able to do it. Someone who doesn't have, like I said before, patience and discipline. You got to have, you, 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 you must, you must, must, must have discipline around your, your, your trading choices. Um, and some people just, you know, they get they get blinded, and 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 I think I think that 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 greed um, gets in the way of their ability to to really see the trades that are in front of them, and and to recognize the power in them. You know, um, there's there's a saying, you know, you gotta you gotta walk before you can run, and some people will come into the program. And they'll see the potential and go, well, <laughs> forget walking. I'm running. <laughs> and it's like, no, no, no. Right. Because the market does change. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have the wherewithal to be patient to, to, to observe and see the change coming, you can get your behind handed to you. Yes, you can. <laughs> and we, we and definitely have that's witnessed not a that. Good feeling. Also, you oh, know, yeah. you mentioned this idea of, of uh, being skeptical. So we have these events in New York and L.A. We call them bring a friend, right? Mm -hmm. Where everyone brings yes. a friend to a class and they can sit in <laughs> and watch what we do. And, and the cool thing about mm -hmm. this right now is because the program is going so well, you know, people come to these uh, wealthy investor events in New York and L.A., they already know who I am. They listen to the show. They they meet you. They're like, I've listened to every episode you've been on. You've had that experience. <laughs> yeah. But I'm going to tell a very quick, funny story. And it might not be funny uh, to the audience, but it'll be funny instantly to you and I. There was a friend <laughs> <laughs> who you brought. Uh -huh. Classy uh -huh. guy, right? He comes, yep. he shows yep. up dressed, right? And yep. and I'm yep. handing out <laughs> stock charts. And, you know, I'm on stage and I'm just flying. I'm doing my thing. And I'm, we're, you know, doing mock trades. <laughs> and this guy, <laughs> this guy is at war within himself. Oh. So I'm like, and that's how oh. you make $5,000 in 48 hours. And this guy, because of his mm -hmm. tormented beliefs... <laughs> He's, and I see him from the stage, and he's, like, mm -hmm. shifting every six minutes, and he's trying to figure out how could this all be r wrong. And at the end, mm -hmm. you said, hey, did such and such sign up for the program? I was like, no. But he was the funniest thing uh -huh. to me because of his uh -huh. limited money beliefs. He was trying to figure out how the yep. stock market thing just wouldn't work out. And uh, uh -huh. even though and he had people around him who were doing really, really mm -hmm. well, he was like, this just can't be true. Correct. So so that skeptical approach to things is not going to help you have wealth and financial freedom. <sighs> no. Would you agree to that? I agree with you 100%. Because all of the trades that we go through actually work. Yes, there are some fast money trades, but if you don't believe it's true, then you'll sit there in torment for three hours 
and prove yourself uh, correct. You know, some people just have to be right. And I, I have a saying, <laughs> you know, everybody's right. right. If you think it won't work, then you're right. It won't work for you. If you think it will work, then it will work for you. <laughs> you know, so, it, you know, the, the one thing that, that the program has helped me with is, is that idea. The idea of, of believing, of, of belief. You know, if, if you believe in yourself and believe something can happen for you and believe that you can do it, then you can. Like, you really can. Right. And, and we have had this conversation before as well that, you know, the universe has no concept of time. Correct. So if, if, you, if you get it together in your mind, then whatever it is that you're thinking will manifest. And more often than not, quicker than you thought. Yes. There are times when, when I've thought to myself about a number, about a specific number. And I'll be trading and I'll be going along and, you know, looking at my accounts and what have you. And I'll go, wait a minute. And then I add everything up and I'm like, oh, wow. I'm there. Yes, that is correct. Like you blink your eyes and you're there. Correct. So I'm like, wow. My buddy Tyrone is the great and powerful liar. <laughs> well, I, I don't know about that. I'm just the helping messenger. People, help, helping people click their heels. <laughs> yes, exactly. There's a, there is a certain joy that goes along with being the messenger. Now, we got to take a commercial break, but you are the one guy I will call up, right? You will take my call anytime, and I go, hey, man, yes, you want to make $25,000 in seven days? You go, hold on. Let me just get out of bed. And I know that you're willing to listen. So there really is a power to having an open yes. mind. Hey, Andre, when we come back on the other side of this break, we're going to talk about some of your favorite complex trades above and beyond covered calls and how they've changed your life as well. Fair deal? Fantastic. All right. Back with more Trading Stocks Made Easy right after you take a listen to this. Want to increase your stock market trading profits? Then you need to start your monthly membership to WITradeSchool.com right now. Don't understand how to write covered calls for monthly income? No problem. Simply review Tyrone's latest stock trades in our video library as many times as you need. WITradeSchool.com is all about helping you get the financial education you need to earn money in the stock market and change your financial life. Tyrone Jackson, the wealthy investor, has helped his students earn thousands of dollars per month trading stocks online from home. These are people just like you. So what are you waiting for? Follow Tyrone Jackson's Red Hot Stock Trades and Investment Strategies today. Don't wait. Start your monthly membership at WITradeSchool.com right now. And welcome back. Today's all about a trader's journey. We're talking to actor, entrepreneur, and we know stock market trader Andre Blake about his journey in the Wealthy Investor Program. So, Andre, you mentioned before, yes, sir, yes, sir. before the break we talked about this whole idea of covered calls volatility trading, and maybe a trader's personality. Um, mm -hmm. in, the, in the world of complex trading, you've really uh, found yourself evolving when it comes to spreads. What are your favorite spread trades? Not necessarily the stock, but the structure. What do you like the most? Is it bull call, calendar spreads? What's your favorite? Um, for a long time, it was bull call. Um, because I, I like I like using the bull call as a as a great way to enter a particular stock um, because you have less exposure. But as of late, for me, it's been the calendar. Okay, that, that the calendar spread gives you such a an extended opportunity to mm -hmm. capitalize on 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 a stock on your ability to to make a predetermined amount of money a, a price that you a, a number that you've set for yourself and and it's so repeatable it's just so repeatable because you have so much time because that first leg is so far out in time and you can reuse it, it it's 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 amazing it's just amazing so you've really taken to your spreads trading and would you say that you have grown uh over the last uh three years in using leverage in addition to the cover call I'd say I've really grown over the past mm, two years, the most, you know, obviously because of COVID and, 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 and the market being in a place that was so, that's been so very unpredictable and, and just kind of slow and stuck in a range. And maybe you get some breakouts here or there, but you know, the, the, that, that calendar spread, mm, I, I hate to use this, 
this analogy, but it's like taking candy from a baby. It really is when you really find the right stock. And I notice also in your trading, you're not a guy who's chasing non-dividend paying stocks a lot. Why is that? No, no, because look, let's face it, the market that we're in right now to to chase a non-dividend paying stock, I don't want to say would be foolish, but for me, it would be foolish. I need a little bit more stability. And, you know, if if you have a stock that pays a dividend and it's in the Dow, let's face it, it's not going to fall as far or as fast than than any particular growth stock that you might be trading that does not pay a dividend. Right. You know why? If the stock falls and the dividend yield goes higher and and big money isn't going to let that money just just hang out there. Why would you? You know, so it's only going to fall. But so far. Yeah. You know, before big money comes running back. And I find this there's always this balance between greed and risk. Like the novice trader will take crazy risks with their money. And once they have a financial education, everybody has an aha moment. Like, maybe I shouldn't be that aggressive. Mm, aha. Yes. Do you remember a yes. stock that actually changed your perspective on being aggressive? <laughs> there there have been a few. Yes. There have been a few. Thank you very much. Um Drys, D R Y S, this this coal shipping company, they 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 took a bite out of me that wasn't uh, uh, expected. Yeah. But uh, you know, it taught me a lesson. You know, uh, th- there are no losses; they're only lessons. Correct. So I I, I believe that that taught me a lesson. Um, was it PayPal or Square? I want to say it was Square that taught me a lesson. It taught me a volatility lesson. And, and and taught me a leaps lesson versus a, a leaps versus a a shorter dated call lesson. Yes, uh, <laughs> you know I thought I thought I was gonna be cute, you know, and uh, well I'll just buy these these these, these three month calls and this stock will move before then and and it didn't and I ended up I think I was holding something like like ten or fifteen contracts or something like that and and the stock went nowhere and then Theta started working on them and it was just a bad situation. But, you know, you live and you learn. You know, like I said, no losses, only lessons. I think one of the things that's so fascinating about your personality is you're willing to accept the losses as a learning experience as opposed to an indication mm-hmm. that you should not be trading at all. Where does that come from, that resiliency? Being an actor. <laughs> you know, I mean, being in, in this business, lady show business at times is not very nice. Mm-hmm. And and the truth of it is you you have to be resilient. You have to understand that, you know, someone telling you no isn't it isn't no. It's just not right now. Right. That's all. That's that's the way I choose to look at things. Right. Um, I'm always looking for the silver lining, if you will, um, I'm trying to find you know, a, a positive explanation or put a positive spin on things because, you know, what do I want to walk around life and woe is me and everything is horrible? No, for the most part, life is great. You know, I've, 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 I went through some health challenges. So for me, having your health is huge. So if I got my health and I can move around and I can click my mouse and make it happen, huh, I'll take it. Thank you very much. Right. For sure. Right. You know, and I, I think people lose sight of that. You know, the, 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 People, people lose sight of our blessings and, and lose sight of, of all the positive things that are in front of you that you can do to enrich your life. Yeah. And I think that's one of the things that I've noticed about all of the students that I teach who uh, you know participate in up and down markets. They all are very resilient in their outlook. And I love that mm-hmm. because that eliminates the I want to get rich quick people, right? I love it when someone goes, okay, that trade moved against me. I lost $7,000. Tyrone, what should I do next? And I never realized this, Andre, until about three months ago. Someone said, "Um, you're very calm when there's a crisis, right? They said, (laughs) (laughs) right? I I remember Uh when, 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 uh, when COVID initially hit and you know, we couldn't meet in person. We could only meet online. And I would get online and I would start teaching the lesson and people go well how are you so calm in the middle of this and i think you know if you're trading with hundreds of thousands of dollars i basically buy a house Mm -hmm. every week i realized right (laughs) (laughs) and and you cannot if you're buying a house every single week with hundreds of thousands of dollars 
Uh, <laughs> yes. You have to be uh, intelligent and controlled at the mm-hmm. same time, right? Mm-hmm. So it's a And ma- you must remain calm. And you must remain yes. calm, right? So I never yes. realized that I had that aspect to my personality. Is there anything about trading that has changed or influenced your personality? You were always a positive guy, but outside of that, is there anything else? Oh, sure. I, I think trading, if, if anything in my life, has calmed me down tremendously, like tremendously, mm-hmm. because that patience piece forces you into calm. It, it just does. If you wrote a call and it doesn't expire for four weeks, then guess what? You got to wait. Right. Sometimes you just have to wait. Yes. If you've used up all your money and you're in your margin 50 to 75 percent, you have to wait. Yes. <laughs> you have to let some things play themselves out. And and, you know, you can't you can't eat everything at the table. You can't eat all the dessert because if not, you'll get sick. Same thing. Just nibble a little bit and just kind of work your way into the main course. You know, it, and maybe that main course is 10 or 15 grand a month. But sometimes you have to start and say, okay, you know what? I'm just starting out. I don't know much. Let me see if I can do a grand a week. Or let me see if I can do a grand a month and start there, you know, and, and work your way into it and, and take the time and understand that you don't know everything. I think a lot of people will, will say, oh, I get this covered call thing. Yeah, you do, but there are nuances and, and you don't know everything. And even though you've been trading, or at least for myself, I can say, you know, even though you've been trading for, you know, 10 years or so, and you've seen a lot, I've seen a lot. And, and yes, history repeats itself, but there's always going to be something new. There's going to be a new nuance that I didn't recognize or, or a trade that I didn't recognize or a stock pattern that I didn't recognize that now, for whatever reason, has made itself clear to me or I've grown to a place where I have the ability to see it. Make sense? Yes, it makes a lot of sense. And I think that those are mm-hmm. really important things for people to hear. Now, we're almost out of time. Uh, I love what wow. you said at the beginning of this episode. You said that, you know, the, the whole thing in California, you came back broke and you were like, well, I got to figure something out. And you really started with a small amount of money. It is possible mm-hmm. to start with $5,000 and then work your way up over time to being mm-hmm. a six figure trader, right? Yes. What is required to do that? I always say you have to commit to putting money in the market every single month. To Mm -hmm. go from $5,000 to making six figures, what skills very quickly would you say are required? Discipline. Making a commitment to your brokerage account in that, okay, let me restructure my expenses so that I can put 500 250 bucks a month into my account to help it grow to help pay down my margin to 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 assist this system that has worked so well for me in continuing to work for me because you might be down on it so a quick for instance let's just say i bought a stock the market pulls back and i'm down on that stock i i make it a point and this is a lesson that i learned actually only recently not to look at my account value. That is not a true representation of where I am. Because once that stock that I bought that I'm down on, maybe 15, 20 bucks, once it retraces, because it will retrace, history tells us so, I'll be back to where I was and then blow past that. It's, it's just a, it's a fact. It's a fact. You're not going to stay where you are. You just, you can't, that, 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 that doesn't, Life doesn't work like that. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't. So, you know, you have to understand that I'm going to change. The market's going to change. I'm going to grow. My account's going to grow. The people who I'll be able to help, that number will grow. The, The kind of life that I can provide for my children and the kind of insight that I can give them at an early age around patience, around money, around their money beliefs. If I can do those things for them at an early age, I'm a rich man. Well, you're definitely a rich man today. We can tell you that for sure. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I, 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 I want to be the humble talk show host and go, will you come back and see us again? <laughs> but you're coming back. I can tell you that for sure. Oh, come on, man. Please. <laughs> you kidding me? 
Hey, listen, Come thank on. you. Thank yeah, you for being doing. here today and sharing uh, your insights on your journey uh, with trading. And I love the fact that you started out with such a small amount and here you are a six figure trader. I mean, that is truly yes. what the Wealthy Investor Program is all about. Well, thank you, my friend, for allowing me to, you know, keep coming back. Most definitely. And thank you for being here today. Andre Blake, everybody. And we'll be back right after this. Want to increase your stock market trading profits? Then you need to start your monthly membership to WITradeSchool.com right now. Don't understand how to write covered calls for monthly income? No problem. Simply review Tyrone's latest stock trades in our video library as many times as you need. WITradeSchool.com is all about helping you get the financial education you need to earn money in the stock market and change your financial life. Tyrone Jackson, the wealthy investor, has helped his students earn thousands of dollars per month trading stocks online from home. These are people just like you. So what are you waiting for? Follow Tyrone Jackson's Red Hot Stock Trades and Investment Strategies today. Don't wait. Start your monthly membership at WITradeSchool.com right now. Well, we're going to continue the series, A Trader's Journey, with people who've been in the program for a while and who are real people who have really managed to change their life. I remember when Andre came in and he had $5,000 in his brokerage account and he makes over six figures a year just from trading. If he can do it, you can do it. And that's what I really want to leave you with uh, today. If you have the right mindset, you'll be amazed at how much wealth and financial success you can create in your life right now if you're willing to become a student, keep an open mind, and go against all negative programming. When you do that, your life has to change. Hey, it's Tyrone Jackson, The Wealthy Investor, saying I'll see you right here on the next episode of Trading Stocks Made Easy. been listening to the Trading Stocks Made Easy podcast. Be sure to rate and review our show on iTunes. While you're on iTunes, be sure to click the subscribe button and you'll automatically receive our next episode.